Making your own soft plastic lures like drop shot baits, stick baits, or even trailers are really easy with the Make Lure products. Here we're going to show you how we made our own drop shot worm by simply sculpting an original, making a silicone mold out of high strength 2, and casting your new baits with a Lumisol. Simply begin by taking some Sculpey clay and sculpt it into the rough form and shape of the lure you're wishing to make. We're going to make two drop shot worms, so we're simply going to roll out some Sculpey, cut it into sections and lengths that we need, and then subtly roll a little shape into it based on the configuration that we're looking for. And once you're satisfied, you simply bake it at 275 for about 20 minutes to get it hardened. Then you can take it out and sand it and uh, refine it, do any last minute uh, adjustments that you want before you're making your mold. Prepare your lures for molding. Simply take a little glue and fasten them down to a base. From there, construct a mold box. Here we used our corrugated plastic strips to basically uh, bend the strips into the shape that we want for our mold box. We tack it down with a little super glue and accelerator, and then we seal it with uh, hot glue. Once you have your mold box built, simply measure out the amount of silicone that you're going to need and mix per the instructions on the containers. Once thoroughly mixed, pour nice and slow and let the silicone naturally flow around your originals uh, to avoid any uh, entrapment of air around your originals. Once your silicone has cured, simply remove it from the mold box in the base and take a putty knife or uh, a flat instrument and scrape along the top of the uh, mold with the originals in there. And this will remove any excess silicone that might have flowed underneath your originals. Next, simply flex your mold to remove your originals, and you now have your new mold. Now it's time to heat up some Alumisol and pour some worms. Once your Alumisol is ready to go, simply uh, slowly pour it into your mold. Be careful not to uh, burn your fingers. Here we've added some Aluma dust to give it that the uh, tan or brown look. You can also add any scents or, or salt uh, at this point as well. It also helps that after you're done pouring the mold to take a a straight edge and uh, wipe off any excess alumicel that's on the top. Um, it'll save you some time when they're cooled uh, from trimming. So once the alumicel is cooled, you can simply uh, rub off any excess alumicel that might be on the surface and demold your drop shot worms. Because these worms are small, they cool real quickly, so you can really turn around a lot of worms in a short amount of time. Once you have your drop shot worms out of the mold, you can use them just as is, or if you want to uh, gloss them up a bit, you can take a, a heat gun or a torch as we used here and just quickly run it over the surface just to melt the surface a bit and you'll see that gloss just pop. Now you're ready to fish.